did it, I did it, I did it. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Shelby, aka Simply Shelby. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be talking about something really cool. It is going to be on the Parsons X Teens Vogue Fashion Industry Essentials course. This is not a sponsored video, but I just wanted to share kind of my review and thoughts about the program and certificate itself, just because I kept seeing it online everywhere. Like it was on all of my ads everywhere frequently, even now that I finished it, it's been everywhere. So if you're kind of like me and you saw it before, but you really had no idea what it was and want to know more, I hope that this video will be helpful for you and just give you kind of like a real life perspective on the program itself. So if you're interested in watching, please stay tuned. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love it if you joined my squad and give this video a big old like and turn on the post notification bell to know every time I upload a new video and let's get into it. Okay, first things first, let's just go over the cost really quick because I'm sure you're wondering how much does it cost? Now, the videos that I saw that are on YouTube about the program are from a few years ago. So I think things have maybe changed with the program overall, which is also why I wanted to do this video today. And I think pricing has changed in the recent years because as things go on everything gets more expensive that's just how life is sadly but the overall cost on the website i actually have it pulled up just in case um right here but you know it costs between 999 dollars it says to 1188 which i don't really know why it's different in price but anyways you can have different payment plans to choose from so they do make it very very flexible to be able to pay or you can pay it in one lump sum um that's what i did just because i'd rather just get it out of the way but that is the cost of it now it is a little costly let's say if you are a high school student or college student or even young working professional like myself and you don't really have a thousand dollars to just spend on a class there is a scholarship option that you can apply to and maybe save some coin that way which I did try applying to that scholarship and I got a little bit of a discounted rate not super crazy or anything um, they didn't pay for it all but I got a little bit percentage off of the overall cost which I'll link that down below if anyone wants to apply because I know like I said if you are hard on money especially during 2020 this year has been really hard for everybody you know, any little thing that you can do to save money, I think is worth it. Now that we covered the cost overall and that you can, you know, payment plans are pretty flexible and they'll work with you. Next, let's get into, was it worth it for me? I would say yes, only because for me, I really wanted to get a basic knowledge of the fashion industry as a whole. I have loved fashion forever when I had moved to Tokyo you know, the fashion scene there is thriving and I love it. And just people are so creative with what they dress like and they just don't care, you know, they dress however they want and they don't care what people think. And I just love that about fashion and especially big cities where you can express your fashion in so many ways. So for me, I wanted to take the course because I wanted to learn about all aspects of the industry. I kind of know what aspect I would like to go into. I'm more business oriented, so that would be Kind of my goal is to go into the more business side of fashion as a whole but you know the process overall the whole certificate program really gets you to think about the designer's perspective the marketing perspective the pr perspective the production and logistics perspective and all of that stuff and i think that's great just to know that to kind of thrive in fashion you need to know all aspects of it you know you can't just think of if you're the designer only think about what you're doing as a designer you have to think about okay how is it going to be produced what can be the marketing for my product all of those things so it really gets you to think of a well-rounded approach with it all which is what i wanted from the course and it really did do that another great thing is that it has different industry leaders either from teen vogue or parsons or just other businesses as well who have been successful in their career field and they kind of just share their opinion or share their you know advice on the industry which was really helpful i think just to learn 
from real life examples, what it is like in those different sectors. And overall, the course is split up into five different sections, which, you know, I enjoy that they do split it up, which gives you time. There's unlocking visual style, which is the first course, thinking like a designer, the second course, understanding fashion production, third course, and then working in fashion media. And then the last one is developing fashioning, fashion marketing and PR skills. So those are kind of the five courses it goes into. And I don't wanna go into too much detail on each one, just because if you're planning on taking it, I don't wanna give any spoilers. Please go ahead and DM me on Instagram or comment if you do have any specific questions, I would definitely answer those for you. Or if you want to know a little bit more that maybe I didn't cover in this video, please go ahead and ask me. I am definitely open to discussing my experience and let you know about that. Another thing I want to address is that it is all online. The course is 100% online, which makes it really easy to do and convenient for your time. And they do give you a year to finish the course from when you start it which I think a year is plenty of time, especially, you know, now that we're home a lot more, you have time to work on it. You know, I do work full time. So having this program being online and kind of having that time frame of when I could complete it definitely gave me a sense of ease that, you know, I could do it in the evening or on the weekend whenever I had free time. So I definitely had to make some time for it, but it wasn't anything crazy. Overall, I think each lesson, depending on how much you really take from it and do the assignments or alternate assignments can depend you know how long it's gonna take you but I don't think any lesson took so 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 long you know you could probably finish one lesson in a weekend or two lessons in a weekend if you're trying to rush it a little bit but I would say take your time with it because you want to get all of it that you can from the experience because you are paying money for it it's not free so you just want to learn everything that you can and for me, it took me about a month and a half to fully finish everything. And then after that, it took about another month for them to actually send me my certificate, which they sent me the other day, which is why I wanted to do this video now that I've actually finished the course. So um, this is it. I kind of put it in a different, what is it? <laughs> Graduation certificate, what is a uh, holder, but you know, I printed this one online, they give you a printed version and you can also request to have them send you one. So I did that, but yeah, it says the new school Parsons and then it has your name, has completed the certificate program in fashion industry essentials. And then it's signed by Dr. Helen Wasau. And you know, she is the senior vice president and Dean of Open Campus and Open Campus is Parsons online like certificate programs who are open to non-students like myself. So that is the certificate itself. And I think it's great because the certificate you can put on your resume and, you know, just have it there if you maybe don't have the traditional fa fashion background or you want to learn about fashion, but you're not really sure how, or maybe you don't want to go to a full-on fashion program. I think this course is really helpful in just learning the broader aspect of it all how the courses work is each course you click into and there will be like an introduction video to the course and kind of what it's going to be about and then you have the i guess lessons of the course you know spread out and then in each one there is a video and there's kind of just some verbiage to go along with it and each one also comes with like industry advice which i think is really cool i tried to write down all of the industry advices <laughs> on notes and I just tried to take notes along the way like let me see if I can find one of the industry advice so like in visual style visual style should evolve over time push yourself to be better across the spectrum and then get better images writing ideas and be more creative just with yourself and in general so I tried to write down all of the industry advice that I could just because I think that is important to take in and remember because you know we're all trying to learn out here we're all trying to better ourselves so i think it really is important to take the industry advice and write some notes as you go along with the process and within each course there are assignments that you have to do and then alternate assignments as well which you can do it in replace of the main assignment or you can do both so some of them i did choose to do the main one and alternate assignment or vice versa 
you know, just depending on how I felt or confidence level kind of in that, uh, what is it, coursework itself, because some of the coursework, you know, was more designer related and I haven't really designed clothes or anything like that. I'm not that great at drawing. So some of those were a little scary to me, not scary, but just like intimidating. But one thing that I did do is if you watch my Shibori dyeing vlog, which I'll link here if you want to see my whole process, I actually did make a bag and dyed my own fabric, which I thought was really, really fun. So I'll also grab that real quick to show you because I'm actually really proud of my bag. It turned out pretty well. She's kind of cute. At the same time, it was my first project ever actually sewing and dyeing and putting something all together. So, you know, I give myself a little pat on the back for just trying. So let me show you guys that. Ta-da! Here's my bag. She's cute or whatever. She's like a little tote, you know? I did Shibori style dyeing, which is a Japanese traditional style of dyeing. They normally use indigo dye. But what I did was a style called Itajime, which helps get these nice square pattern to the fabric. So, you know, I got to make this as part of my project and I thought it was really, really fun to do because, you know, I feel like I understand the business side a lot more, but you know, it's like I said, the program just really gets you to think about all aspects of fashion and really makes you think about different things. So that's why I wanted to push myself and do this project because I'm like, you know what? might as well it's not gonna hurt i might as well try the project because that's what it's about it's about learning and improving yourself and pushing yourself to your limits and trying more creative things so yep here's my little bag as i mentioned earlier i don't want to spoil the courses so i'm not going to go too much into detail or tell you guys too much about everything but the full, whole basis of it all is each course kind of helps you develop your portfolio at the end, which you can use your examples from the different projects. And one of my projects, Yellow Brick Fashion on Instagram, actually shared it. So I'll put it here for y'all to see, but that was really cool because, you know, it's fun to share your projects and, you know, share them on your socials as well. But basically all the projects help you to develop your portfolio at the end, which they make you do as a final project. And what is really awesome is that they actually send you a critique back, which I thought was amazing because, you know, I'm planning on hopefully going to a fashion school sometime soon. Cross my fingers, wish me luck. But a lot of them do require a portfolio of some sort or just kind of revamping your resume as well. The course helps you go through. So I think, you know, all of that, if you're going into the job market or applying to fashion schools, I think it's just really helpful to give you a basis of how to complete those types of assignments, such as a portfolio or doing a resume if you've never done one before. So I think those were all really helpful. And yeah, overall, I really did enjoy the course. You know, it really is just an overall good basis of the fashion industry as a whole. And I think that the staff at Yellow Brick who run the program were also just very helpful and quick to respond if you did need to email about them about any questions that you may have as you're going through the process or even before signing up. So I thought that was really helpful. And with that being said, I wanna end the video and I hope that this you know, kind of review and my experience helped you. Like I said, I didn't wanna go over too many details just because if you're planning on doing it, I want you to experience it yourself without me telling you every little thing that goes into it because I think the element of surprise or not knowing is also helpful when trying to, you know, work on your creative flow and creative juices and just think on the spot. So I hope that this video helped you overall. And if you do plan on taking it or you have any questions, comments, anything like that, please go ahead and comment down below or feel free to DM me on Instagram if you feel like personally messaging me and asking me more maybe personal questions about the program itself. I thought it was really fun and it's now on my resume, which is a cool thing to add. And yeah, I just really love fashion and I love learning about it. And they also do have tons of other open campus certificate type programs on the Parsons website, which I think is really cool. And you know, I may take one of those in the future as well. But yeah, I hope that you like this video. I hope you stay safe and have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you all soon. If you haven't already, please subscribe, give this video a big old like, turn on the post notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.